Listen to this one. New York Times admits it lied about the crowd size at a Nashville Trump rally. Corrects after president calls them out. See, that's what it takes nowadays, by the way. In order for the media to be even somewhat accurate in the reporting, it takes the president of the United States to call them out. The New York Times has admitted that it lied about the size of the crowd at the Trump rally held in Nashville on Tuesday night and changed their crowd estimate after the president called them out on Twitter. In their original story on the Trump rally, the Times claimed the crowd size was only 1,000, a number that everyone in attendance Tuesday night knew was a misrepresentation of the much larger crowd uh, at the municipal auditorium to listen to President Trump speak about his support for Representative Marsha Blackburn and her 2018 campaign for the U.S. Senate. Breitbart News was at the rally and estimated the crowd size to be more than 8,000. So what's going on here, folks? How is it that you have Breitbart estimating that the crowd is 8,000? You have people who were at the uh, rally saying, you know, there were a lot of people there, and yet you have the New York Times saying, well, yeah, there were a 1,000 people. What's going on is that the New York Times isn't being honest. They're lying. Wednesday morning, President Trump called the Times out for their inaccurate crowd size reporting. He tweeted, the failing and... <laughs> See, this is what I love. The failing and corrupt New York Times, right on, estimated the crowd last night at 1,000 people, when in fact it was many times that number. And the arena was rocking. This is the way they demean and disparage. Uh, They are very dishonest people who don't get me and never did, he added. Now listen, after the presidential broadside... (laughs) The Washington Times reported that the New York Times corrected their crowd size uh, estimate estimate later on Wednesday. So now that the New York Times got caught, they got called out. They said, yeah, you know, we'll we'll correct it. We'll issue a correction. We were wrong. Sorry. The New York Times, this is according to the uh, Washington Times. I, I don't know why the Washington Times is correcting the New York Times, by the way. Why doesn't the New York Times just correct the New York Times and write about the New York Times? Anyway, the New York Times issued a correction Wednesday about the crowd size at President Trump's rally after the president challenged the paper's mistake, acknowledging the audience in Nashville, Tennessee, was more than five times larger than the Times initially reported. In its article online, the Times said an earlier version of the story, quote, cited an inaccurate figure for the number of people attending President Trump's rally. While no exact figure is available, the fire marshal's office estimated that approximately 5,500 people attended the rally, not about 1,000. The Trump campaign issued its own crowd size estimate of 7,500 to 8,000 people in a statement released Wednesday, yesterday. So, folks, this was obviously intentional. Obviously intentional. Nobody unintentionally says, yeah, you know, I think there's about a thousand people at this rally. Uh, when in reality there was anywhere between, you know, 5,500 and 8,000 people. I mean, th- that's a big difference. That's a noticeable difference. This wasn't a mistake. This wasn't, you know, oops, sorry, we said a thousand. We meant a lot more than that, like five times more than that. No, no, I'll tell you what this was. This was yet another example of the lying fake news media doing everything they possibly can to discredit Donald Trump. I'll say it again. I've said it so many times I can't even count. I'm no sympathizer of Donald Trump, but I will defend him until the end against BS attacks like this. I will defend him until the end against the lying mainstream media because this is ridiculous. These these little games that they play, They're like childs. The New York Times, yeah, it's being run by 12-year-olds. These little games. Oh, you know, a thousand people. Yeah, a thousand people at the rally. Uh, No. Obviously, folks, you're smart people. You know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it out to be that President Trump isn't as popular with the American people as he once was. That's what they're trying to do. That's their game. That was the intent from the start. 
And uh, there's no way in hell they would have issued an apology or corrected their mistake, quote-unquote, if Donald Trump never called them out. That 1,000 people figure would have stood till the end of time. And again, it's, it's sad. It's extremely unfortunate that we are at a point in American history where we now need the President of the United States to call out the mainstream media in order to get them to report the truth. Donald Trump once said that the mainstream media is the enemy of the people. This is why, folks. This is why, yes, the mainstream media is the enemy of the people. Because they feed the people lies. Any institution that lies to the American people, knowingly and willingly lies to them, can't possibly be an ally. Can't possibly be an ally. The mainstream media is the enemy of the people. 